Hello everyone and welcome to your 8th uh, grasshopper tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to learn about sequences and some of the sequences we're going to learn are range, uh, series and so on. So first of all we're going to open grasshopper. Okay, so where you find the sequences? Just go to your third um, panel and go to sequences here. Click and then go to, we'll start at random. Now we took this, actually I think in the fourth tutorial, like when we wanted to build a skyscraper. But this one here, I'm just going to explain more about how to um, like insert data into these um, sequences. So first we're going to go with random. Now if we just double click and get a slider, so we'll just do a slider, number slider, right click, hit edit, and then say I want it. Um, I want the maximum to be 50. Okay, hit OK. So we have from 0 to 50. If you just, when you connect this here, you notice that the name changes, it becomes range. And if you just copy this and click here, it changed to number. And the thing here is the seed, but I'm not gonna talk about it that much. I'm not gonna talk it, about it at all actually in this tutorial. Um, Okay, so if you just double click in a panel, panels are just the way to read actually what's inside the containers and it's a really good way to understand what's going on in here and the thing is the panel doesn't affect it, uh, doesn't affect anything. So let's say like I want to construct a point, so if you just double click it, construct point, um, there. You see that when you connect it, it really, it gives you some random numbers. Uh, on the x-axis and if you see what I want to say like if you just delete this panel and connect it It does the same thing. So the panel is just a way to read what's inside your container Especially when you're using series or sequences you kind of want to know what's going on inside here like uh, When we say I want to range from 10 and the number 10 So if you look at it here, if you try to understand what it means So I just remove the points You see that the range 10 and the number is 10. So the range is actually saying I want the num numbers randomly from 0 to 10. So we have here like there's no any number more than 10. And we see that we have here the number 10, like 10 steps 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, to 10. Okay? So this is what the random is. So if you want to change the range, let's say I want the maximum to be 21, you see that you have numbers, you have 10 numbers randomly um, from. 0 to 20. So, uh, I really don't want to talk about the seed actually because the seed is something a little bit more advanced. But in general, the, in computer science, there's nothing called really, really random. So, in the seed, like let's say I uh, just wanted 20. And like the seed is, if you just um, go up and down with the minimum and maximum, you can see that you can have more than one option in the random, like. If you don't like the random numbers it gives you, you can just change the seed and it gives you different variations of um, random numbers. So it's not set to one random um, numbers, but actually you can change the random numbers you want. So yeah, I talked about seeds anyway. Uh, we'll go to... okay, no, we'll go here and we'll choose the Fibonacci. Fibonacci is actually a very interesting concept. So if you just double click and there's actually another way for a slider. I saw it in some tutorial. It's um, if you are the minimum and the maximum and the number you want from here from the start without actually going to a slider. So let's say I want the minimum to be uh, 5 and I want the number to set on 20 and the maximum to be 50. I don't know, 60. So if you hit enter, you see that the number set in 20, the minimum is 5, and the maximum is 60. So I think this is a cool way to um, to uh, write numbers in your sliders. So before we actually connect this, I want to show you what happens inside the Fibonacci um, as default. So if you just click on the panel, you see that we already have a bunch of numbers. And the Fibonacci gives you um, 
So if you look here, like in the panels, 0 plus 1 equals 1, 1 plus 1 equals 2, 1 plus 2 equals 3, 2 plus 3 equals 5, and like that. So this is the Fibonacci sequence. So say if I connect, I want the first number to be 20, and I want the second number to be 10. 10, no, I can add. Okay. Um, let's go with 30. So yeah. It's not 30. Okay, 30. So it starts at 20, 20, and the second number will be 30. And from there, like 20 plus 30 equals 50, 30 plus 50 equals 80, and so on and so forth. So the Fibonacci is kind of a uh, mathematical um, kind of uh, what is going to say? Sequence? Yeah, it's a mathematical sequence. So let's go with another one. I want to go with series. Um, okay, so series. Uh, let's go and get another slider. So click on slider, hit edit, uh, one number, maximum 80. Right, okay. So when you connect it, you see that also the name of the slider changes to start. And if you connect here, it goes and changes the steps. And changes the count. Okay? So let's just grab a panel and connect it. So we'll say I want to start at 12. Okay. Now, figuratively speaking, like if you don't know what the series, how they work, you kind of just have to look at your panel and check what it does. Like sometimes you're not sure what does start or step or count mean. So what you want to do is just try to insert, well that's why like the panels are really good because you can actually see how they react to the numbers. So it says start at 12. If you look here and look, you can see that it starts at 12, okay? And we have 27 steps. So 27 steps means, hmm, okay. So the count is 15. I can see that there's like 15 numbers, right? So 15 numbers, it starts at 12, so what does the 27 mean? So try to move your 27 and try to figure out what does 27 or 19 mean. So let's say I can see that starts at 12 and then we have 18 steps. So if I look here, I see 12 plus 18 equals 30. 30 plus 18 equals 48 and so forth. So it's a really good way to actually try to think how it works if you don't know what uh, these um, these um, containers or like commands do so if you say I want to start at 6 or 5 and I want the step to be 20 so 5 like every time you add to each number 20 so 5 plus 20 25 plus 20 45 plus 20 65 and so on so like if you're really lost with any of these um, sequences, just try to, to like grab a panel and check what it does. Um, what else? After rounding, mm -hmm. let's go and check sequences. Hmm, oh. I don't know sequences. Um, range. Okay. So range is actually really fun. Uh, if you just grab a slider, so we'll try the other way. 10, um, 15, 30. Okay. So just connect. I'll grab a panel first. And then connect it here. Okay. So we have the name change to domain and the name change to steps. And we can see that, okay, let's do the same thing we did with the series. So range says from, we have here 15. So I'm looking here, okay, now both of them are 15, which kind of makes it a little bit messy. So we'll start by changing this to maybe 10. Mm -hmm. And steps are 15. So what stays 15 is here steps. Like we have 15 numbers and we have 10. So if you look closely, you see that the numbers are from 0 to 10. See, we have here 10 
and we have here 0. So what it did, it actually divided by 10 over 15 steps. So we have from 0 to 10, I want all the numbers divided equally from 0 to 10. Okay, so let's say uh, like on 15 um, steps. So I want this to be 20 to make it easier. So we have 20 numbers starting from 0 and it's divided like 10 is divided over 20 steps equal. Okay, so if you look here we have 0.5, 1, 1.5, like it's divided by 0.5 each time till it reaches um, 10. Um, okay, so let's actually start doing something with these random numbers. Uh, we can go and like add a point, so let's go to construct point. Now if you just click point, we won't actually find this construct point, I never found it like this. So you actually have to type construct point to get the x, y, and z kind of um, point. So we'll try here. Yeah, and right here. Um, let's go with the random. So let's go construct point. And connect it. So we have here numbers randomly. From, we have 10 numbers, remember? Uh, they're randomly distributed on the x axis. Uh, okay, so when you say, like, you know, if you just make it, you try to change your numbers in your number slider, you see that you can actually change a lot of things when it comes to um, your sliders when you're using the uh, sequences. So, mm, let's say one thing with this. Now you can connect more, like also in the Y axis. And in the Z axis also, it's possible. So we have X, Y, and Z. Now remember in our last uh, tutorial, we got something called the data matching, if you remember. And one of them was one of these were like cross-references, long list, and short list. So I'm going to go with cross-reference. And if you just connect like this, and the A and the B to the X and the Y, and if you say I want to also add the Z, if you just zoom in and you see we have the plus and minus sign, just click the plus and here you can add actually a third um, connection to it. And you can see like we have a nice random cube because like it's gonna it's um, distributed over the X, the Y, and the Z, uh, all these random numbers. So I think it looks pretty cool to just play with this, like if you add or make it less, or play with your seed, uh, or your seed number, and it's actually really really cool to and fun to play with. Um, so what you want to add maybe, let's say you want to add spheres here, like make a really cool random spheres kind of thing. So if you go to surface, and go to primitive, you have your like phone, cylinder, spheres, Mm, let's say I want to add a cone maybe, just connect here, and you can see we have random cones all over the place. Um, you can also add spheres if you want, just double click and write sphere, hit enter, and you can see that spheres are distributed <laughs> all over it. Um, let's say the radius I want to be 0 0.05, and ah, too small. Okay, maybe it's too small. Um, okay, let's just edit this. Five. Okay, so now it's going up. Okay, so point four sounds pretty fun. Um, another thing, like in the last analysis, we got. The cross references has more than one type of cross reference, so you can really get as much as random um, shape or like random calculations as you can. So just right click, go diagonal, maybe you can see that it changed. If you go lower triangle, if you go upper triangle, there. I think it's really fun to just play with all the 
all these sequences and all these numbers with all the cross references and the long list and the short list that we got and try to insert uh, geometries into them and uh, have more fun with it. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and I guess I'll see you next tutorial.